or maximum score. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't want to have that shooter that can uh, have that. For me, for example, have a seven and come back from that because the compound is too tight for that. You have seen this year, especially for I think in Shanghai, you had more than uh, 30, uh, 36, 37 shooters above 700 score, and in Colombia, 50% of the compound line shot above 700 score. So we are talking down to uh, that's after 72 arrows. We are down to like only a few points will drop you 10, 15 spots. So it's compound is down to the smallest, uh, what do you call it, uh, difference to to make a lot of steps. So so we, we want a clean sheet. We want uh, a score. So so the best, the highest score will will win. Uh, and with cumulative scoring, you can get that clean sheet, which we almost saw yesterday. As yes. Mike Schlosser started off his match, first ten of his fifteen arrows were clean. They were all tens. Yes. And it was also so cool to see the, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but uh, see the spectators when he actually dropped the first nine. Everyone just went, whoa, oh, yeah. and you could just see on Mikey that he was like, it's okay, I, I got this. this is, we will, we'll, yeah, just but smile it was fun. It was great it. drama to it watch was. him shoot those t ten tens. Yes. Well, there's a reason and why you don't they call have that, him I guess, Mr. Perfect. The sets. No. Yeah. There's a re reason why he's called Mr. Perfect there. So he shoots great and uh, put up a big game every time. And he's always there, always in the top. Well, a big time archer taking the stage right now in the third recurve match for the women. And that is Kibo Bay over on target number two, about to release the first shot of this match. Good look at the Olympic champion from 2012 in London, the bronze medalist from Rio. That's a long shot. Well, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line <laughs> business. Oh, exactly. Ki Bobe, 28 years old, ranked third in the world, facing Gwendolina Sartori, ranked 17th. Comes up with a nine on her first shot. Shooting from the left side. So immediately Ki Bobe with the advantage after the first shot. Second shot's also a nine. Keeping him in the gold ring. I think all of the shooters are happy about their, their caps or their hats today with the sun. It's just nice. straight in the face. And that's the only bad thing here on this venue is that when there's no clouds to cover up the sun, then because of the it's time of, of the year, the sun is so low. So you will see a lot of sun in, sun glare on your side. Doesn't seem to be affecting Kibo no. Bay too much. No sunglasses, no problem, 28 points with a pair of nines and a 10. Of course, a 10 here, and there it is, and they split the set. It's a really important start, that if Siki keeps up and, and keep taking a, a, a point set all the way, it can go down to the a pseudo. We didn't see many of the pseudos yesterday, except Just I, one. I think the one from Sarah that was like really down to a close line call. It's How would you say it in Denmark? We would say about the skin of your teeth. That's how close it was. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was, uh, we would say, more or less the same for it. And it was in the biggest match of the day. Yeah. The matchup with Marcella Tonioli. Now, here's a good look at Kibo Bay, who lost in the semifinals in Rio to Chong Hee Jin, who went on to win the gold medal, and ironically enough, isn't even here at the yeah. World Cup final. Tells you how tough it is the, the, to try and compete amongst your own teammates. Yeah. The, the, the World Cup uh, ranking here is always so different than you say the world ranking or the Olympics because it's down to the, the different World Cups. How, how are you pro progressing? How are you doing? You can have a one bad World Cup, that's enough for you to be out. But also if you win one and, and just have a good rank of the other ones, you still collect points enough to, to be here. And many of the countries also have, a, have to focus on maybe not going to all of them. So. Ms. Key with an eight. Rarely happens. When it does, it would behoove when Alina yes. Sartori to take advantage, and she does. Yes. She dial back in. Ten point precision. Just the way she practices. Now, Gwendolina. We are tied. 
Veers off target into the red zone. And Kibo Bay trying to fight back and take this second set. After falling behind early, he's in good shape right now with that nine. A 10 now will give her the set. And the win, eight. nine. Satori's shot sinks just a little bit low into the nine ring, so they split again. So really Satori nice. and Kibo Bay have split the first two sets. Two, two very talented archers. Kibo Bay, of course, a double gold medalist in 2012 at the Olympics in London. Seven world championship medals to her credit. A gold medal in Copenhagen last year in 2015 as you take a look at Kibo Bay with her coach. A total of 26 World Cup medals that she's won since 2010 when she debuted. And it took her a long time. She started in archery in 1998 and didn't start shooting internationally for 12 years. The, the, the Koreans have such a, t uh, a strong field of shooters over there. So for, for you to actually just shoot your way to the team and then you're already there, you are like an amazing shooter. So, and there and then still to be on the team year after year after year, it's just amazing work. We have uh, two Danes living and studying in Korea. And the, the, the reports they come home with, like, you know, how good they're shooting, how many archers they have, just even there. How amazing it is. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Even the, the juniors, the junior tournaments, it's like set up like a World uh, World Cup final. Every, there's TV lanes, there's uh, spectators, there's uh, matches like this. So they prepare from mm -hmm. from early stages to, to this. And no, I don't think there's any other system in the world, any other country that runs it as professional as the Koreans do. And that's one of the reasons why they are just that good. Look how well the Wendelina Sartori is doing, competing against Kibo Bay. Kibo Bay making her fourth appearance in the World Cup Finals. And she is trailing here in this set. That may help her come back. Great resilience, which is why she's been such a champion. And because of that resilience, now she's tied again yeah. at 18 apiece. Will they split, or will somebody finally break through and take a set? A little bit of wind in the trees again. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's good. A mighty wind powered that arrow to the 10 ring, and Wendelina Sartori cannot match it, so the set does indeed go to Kibo Bay, and she grabs a 4-2 to lead in this match, the third of four women's matches in the quarterfinals here at the World Cup Finals. As Kibo Bay in her fourth World Cup Finals appearance. What an amazing career. Four Olympic medals, three of them gold in the two games she's participated in, in Rio and London. Gwendolina Sartori also in Rio. She was on the Italian team that almost won a bronze medal. Down at San Bodromo at the Rio Olympics, which was just a little over a month ago. Almost medaled in Medellin, finished fourth, lost out in the bronze medal match. She made it to the last eight of the two stages of the tours stopped that she attended in 2016. Two world championship titles for Gwendolina Sartori, the 27-year-old from Italy, four World Cup medals. Two of those were individual medals, and they both came indoors in Nîmes and in Marrakesh. Would love to break through here at the World Cup Finals, but she's going to have to come from behind, and that eight doesn't help her cause. This is where the Koreans, Martin, usually take advantage. Yeah, but we have seen Kipo Bay shoot a few out in the eight, so it's, it's still a possibility. But normally, no. Normally, they just tie the rope. A little tighter. Yeah. Ah, great shot by Gwendolina Sartori. Who's averaging nine points per arrow. Has 43 
victories in their career in match play. Nine. Up against yeah. a tough customer, we're tied at 18. Again, again. Oh. That sure could be costly. Not, yeah. not sure if that's going to be enough. So it's in the hands now of Kibo Bay. You can put it away with a nine or better. Ms. Key for the win, nine. and yes. she got it. So Kibo Bay breaking away over the final two sets. After splitting the first two, she took the next two. And she winds up winning six to two. And again, you know, somebody five years from now will look at that score and go, oh, it wasn't a very close match. It was a close match. <laughs> it was a really close match. All, I think in every set, the, after the first two hours, they were tied. So it's down to the last error every time. And that's also the hard part about the set system, that you reset the system every end. So it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you shoot a perfect round or a really, really bad round. The next three arrows is brand new match. That's right. So that was nice. Now do it again. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, so you can be so uh, so happy that you just put in three X's, but but the next after the next that error, those two arrows, it's forgotten, and you have to start all over again. So it's also hard mentally for all of them. 